hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to look up an error id here in salesforce so let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in salesforce i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go to look up a Salesforce error ID, you can follow these steps to better understand and troubleshoot the error. Number one is, when an error occurs in Salesforce, the error message usually contains a GAC ID, which is also known as a Salesforce internal error tracking ID, error ID or exception ID, right? Now, if you encounter any of that, the first thing that you need to do is go to the upper right corner where you can see the Salesforce help. Now in this, you might want to go on the more resources that says Sa search Salesforce help. All right. Now you might want to enter the ID or errors. For example, um, I'm going to put in something like this to see if there's going to be a related troubleshooting articles like that. Or for example, this one. You see nothing's happening right now let's go back go to the get support option here in this case just click on confirm all right so these are some of your options if you can't find any related article to troubleshoot this kind of error it'll load up and it would forward you to the option to get a case or support case or ticket like this one create a case type in your error id for example these are going to be some of the errors put in the subject and you can add the uh, collaborators that is also experiencing the problem so these are some of the options and click on the create case now you see there's going to be a product and topic below that is going to be um, suggested here if you wanted to look up for a specific error. All right. That's two options. A second option is go back again to your account and then I want you to click the gear icon on the upper right corner and click on setup. Now on the quick find, I want you to type in debug lugs. All right. Now you can create a new debug log for the user experiencing the issue and reproduce the error you can review the debug log to find details about what may be causing the error you see that you can delete and of course you can create one you see this create new view view name is something like this or maybe um like this one let's try to fix this all right and all i have to do is click on save all right so that way you would be able to of course enter the id error in the search bar click on save now remember if the error occurred after a recent customization replicate the situation in a sandbox environment to isolate the issue and of course by following these steps you should be able to either find more information about the error or gather enough details to get help from the support salesforce support or the community speaking of the community you might want to visit the salesforce developer community and search for the error id all right of course you can po post your questions in the forum like this one all right so let me post the question for example this kind of error ask a question right here put in an information create a post if you wanted so there's a lot that you can um do all right because the community will be more than glad to help you out in terms of the error all right salesforce developers or community members may have encountered similar issues and can offer guidance on this specific errors all right, so I have tried that in the past. One of the active members have provided a troubleshooting steps or an in insight on how to potentially fix this issue. And of course, it's an essential part of maintaining a stable and functional Salesforce environment if you can identify and effectively diagnose the Salesforce error ID. 
Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.